Hello everyone, I'm Ramaya Krishnan, Dean of the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy. And it's my great honor to welcome one and all to this celebration of our 2020 Heinz College graduates. Today we celebrate the hard work, long hours, and remarkable resolve that each of our graduating students has shown as they've pursued their education. We know, of course, that none of them got here alone and that we are joined on this broadcast by family and friends across every continent, except perhaps Antarctica, where I'm sure at least a few penguins are watching. I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you watching, and I thank you for supporting our students as they have weathered disruption and hardship that would have been unimaginable just a few months ago. And to the class of 2020, I want to applaud you and thank you for everything that you've done to help each other through this extraordinary period. You're a truly inspiring group of individuals and I'm very proud to be your dean. Regardless of whether you've spent one year, two years or more obtaining your Heinz College degree, we know how important this community is to each of you and how difficult it has been to be distant from one another this semester. It's been heartening to witness your resourcefulness and your camaraderie sharing your experiences on social media and in other virtual channels. I speak for all faculty and staff when I say we've missed seeing you in Hamburg Hall, and we can't wait to have you all back on campus in the future. 
We very much look forward to celebrating your accomplishments together in person. Many of you just took part in Carnegie Mellon's virtual conferral of degrees. While certainly not a perfect substitute for an in-person event, I was moved by the feeling of togetherness it conveyed. It also gave a sense of how we as a university have stood up to the current crisis, never shying away from doing work that makes a positive difference. Carnegie Mellon has built its entire reputation on innovation, imagination, and excellence. For you graduates, the name Carnegie Mellon carries a lot of weight, and I hope you're now proud to be alumni of one of the world's greatest academic institutions. All of our graduates today deserve our genuine praise, but I do want to take a moment to specifically recognize our Master of Medical Management graduates. All students in the MMM program are experienced physicians. What this means is that while they were finishing their Heinz College degrees, they were also on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have graduates and current students across all our programs who likewise work in healthcare and other life-sustaining fields, who have sacrificed tremendously these last few months to continue their critical work while also completing graduate school, a monumental feat of selflessness and courage. You have our gratitude and our admiration. This is a time when our relationships and our shared networks will become even more important. We've had many conversations with alumni wondering how they can help. Our partners across public, nonprofit, and private sectors have stepped up as well, keenly aware of the need for internship experiences and job opportunities for our graduates and current students alike, and recognizing that the unique skills of a Heinz College education are more valuable than ever before. We prepare our students to lead lives of intelligent action. You hear that phrase a lot around here because it was coined by our founding dean, Bill Cooper, and is an elegant idea that captures so much of what we do and who we are. As a lodestar guide ships at sea, intelligent action is a vision that has guided us for over 50 years. It's an unwavering commitment to the use of data, technology, creativity, and leadership in combination to solve complex problems in society. I know that you will carry that vision with you throughout your life and apply your vision of intelligent action to every challenge you face. Intelligent action is why Heinz College experts have been relied upon throughout our school's history for solutions, strategies, and insight during periods of transformative change. While the pandemic is on top of everyone's minds, it's not the only problem in society. It will, however, serve to accelerate many of the large-scale societal challenges that Heinz College has spent years researching and preparing for, such as massive shifts in healthcare, cybersecurity and privacy, information technology and public policy, arts and entertainment, and the future of work. These are but some of our priorities and the needs in these areas will only become more urgent in the years to come. To everyone graduating today, I know that you're probably feeling many emotions, some of them conflicting, but I hope above all that you feel proud of your accomplishment. I salute you for all you've achieved and for the impact you're sure to have in the future. Thank you and congratulations again. And now here's a message for you from our alumni. All right, well, first of all, congratulations, graduates. It's been a long road, a lot of hard work, dedication, and commitment. So my most heartfelt congrats to all of you. Just wanted to congratulate all of you for your accomplishment today, for graduating from one of the best public policy schools in the country. You're graduating now, and you did all the work, everything that was required of you to get here. So congratulations on those accomplishments. You made it. All of the tears, the hard work, the long nights, they were worth it. Congratulations on your graduation. This is a significant accomplishment in your life, an accomplishment that you're probably relieved to have completed, but also one that you're gonna look back on with enormous pride. I want to congratulate all of you at graduation. Class of 2020, what a time to graduate. Congratulations. Each and every single one of you should feel incredibly proud. I feel the same way 
back in December 2008 when I was graduating. Along with that sense of achievement, I also felt nervousness because I was graduating during the Great Recession. What I realize now is that graduating during a time of great uncertainty forced all of us to dig deep, to focus on the task at hand, and develop a muscle of resiliency that would benefit us later on in our careers. There's a lot of public policy schools, there's a lot of technology schools, uh, but there's no school that really applies technology to policy and does it in a data-driven, rational, humane, empathetic way. And that's what Heinz is all about. And that's what makes the school special. And that's what makes graduates of Heinz, you, congratulations, uh, very, very special. I am sure that all of you have the skills and the capabilities to navigate uh, this new world that we're facing. I know we're in some weird times right now, but the road ahead is very, very bright. I think this crisis has taught us anything. It's that public policy is more important than ever and having leaders in the public policy realm, at the federal, state, local level, who uh, understand policy, who can analyze it, who have all the skills that you pick up at Heinz, those skills are more important than ever. It's actually a great opportunity to think differently about um, how you can make an impact in the world and uh, learn to be agile, learn how to be flexible, and to pivot into a whole new arena into your into your industry. The things that are happening in entertainment are insanely positive. Like you have, you have an opportunity where people are at home and, and in immersive environments, right? And this is a moment in time where like, if you're an entrepreneur or you can create something or band together with friends and start stuff, there's no one to tell you no. I hope that one of the things that you can take from this and a lens that you know you can look at this crisis through is as an opportunity as an opportunity to take what you've learned at Heinz and introduce creative and innovative solutions to our biggest challenges because if there was ever a time to do that it is now we have learned that we have to take care of the world and we have to take care of each other we have learned that technology is not a substitute for human touch and we have learned that we are resilient. Of course, you're graduating into unprecedented circumstances. Not the ideal time to graduate. Or is it? Keep in mind the phrase, where you stand depends upon where you sit. There's so much we do not know about the future. But one thing we do know is that all organizations, private and public, are rethinking the fundamentals of how they operate, including my organization. We need people who have been trained to take on difficult problems, apply rigorous thinking and analysis, and use data to design effective and innovative solutions. In other words, we need you. We need you and your skill sets. You have the data analytics skills, you have the problem solving skills, the critical thinking skills to really understand what are some of these really difficult challenges that we face as a society, and how can we bring data and algorithmic thinking to the table as a solution. Crisis does bring opportunity, um, and opportunity um, is driven via innovation. And I think that we have a wonderful chance, all of us, uh, to really rethink things. I love the saying, when you're going through hell, keep going. Uh, it, you know, it, it could be really easy in these times to sit back and try to wait for things to pass. I actually think it's important to keep moving and keep moving forward. We don't know what tomorrow will look like. We all know that we will be soon living in a new normal. But I think it is also a good time for some perspective. And I draw perspective from many things, including some of my favorite things like Disney movies. And uh, in Finding Nemo, there's a character, Dory. Everyone loves Dory. But in the introduction of this character is a bit odd. And she's kind of just moving. She doesn't know where she's going. She's just kind of floating around. It seems like the motion is meaningless, um, but the message wasn't. And the message was keep swimming. And the reason you keep swimming is so you understand that you can still be moving even though everything around you feels still. If you keep swimming, you get to the next opportunity. You get to the next destination. And if you keep swimming, you keep alive your spirit to want to find the next opportunity. So I would just encourage anyone right now to keep swimming and if they have the extra time because of quarantine to go watch Finding Nemo. If there is anything that is going to help us get through this, 
it is going to be your optimism. So while this may not seem like the ideal time for you to graduate from where you sit, it is the ideal time for our country and our society from where we sit. It may be hard right now, but there is no better training ground in the world than Heinz College. And the skills in which you have been trained will serve you well no matter what you do. I've had many times in my Senate career where I've taken the skills that I've learned from Heinz, even those in management science, believe it or not. Uh, everything that you've been learning at Heinz is really tailored to prepare you for tackling these challenges, whether you're serving in an elected position like me or you're uh, assisting in the policy process. Uh, all of those courses are really gonna be critical. There is a time, which is now, unlike any other time that the world has ever seen where leadership matters. And this university, this school, Heinz, teaches leadership. And we will be counting on you as a society more than ever. I'm proud to be a Heinz alum. Uh, and it takes me everywhere. Honestly, the job that I have today is because someone saw my resume and said, you went to Heinz, I want you to come work for me. Because the Heinz name carries with it the knowledge that you are absolutely going to be a change maker wherever you go. Go take the job and have the experience that builds the career you want for the next 15, 20 years. And if you're gonna start something, Go start it. Heinz has given me so much more than just a degree. I met my wife at Heinz. My first job out of Heinz was through a Heinz connection at a, at a startup called Diamond that got acquired by PricewaterhouseCoopers. I also landed my first startup job through a Heinz connection, and that startup later got acquired by Facebook. The startup that I just recently co-founded was with a Heinz alum as well. This community has always been there for each other. And as you go out into the world, be there for others in your class, but also don't be afraid to ask for help and reach out to other alums because I can assure you, they will be there for you and they will support you and they will be what will help you make a difference in the world. You will forge, you will shape the future of this country, this world, because you have the leadership skills to do it. So be positive, take advantage of the opportunity, step forth, fill the void, and lead, because that's who you are, great leaders. You are graduating in a world where there is only upside, where the kind of impact that you can have can be tremendous, and of course, much needed. Thank you, CMU graduates, and congratulations for the class of 2020. You should be so proud of yourself. This is really a huge accomplishment. Go class of 2020, congratulations. Peace to you. It is now time to present our annual Heinz College Awards, honoring the accomplishments of some very special members of our community. Award recipients were selected by a committee of faculty, staff, and students. First, we have the Barbara Jenkins Service Award, which is presented annually to a graduating student who has demonstrated outstanding service to Heinz College and made significant contributions to the quality of life in the Pittsburgh community. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Matthew Fox. Matt is graduating from our Master of Science in Public Policy and Management program. He has been an incredibly active student leader and has contributed to the community as a Heinz radio editor and contributor, Heinz Journal website editor, Heinz College GSA student rep, CMU Graduate Students Concerns Committee member, CMU Master's Student Advising Working Group member, and CMU Sustainability Advisory Council member. Even with all of his commitments on campus, he also made an impact in various ways beyond campus. Matt stands out as a go-to person should you have a question or concern, and his contributions and influence leave a mark on the student experience. Matt, thank you for your service to the Heinz College, Carnegie Mellon University, and Pittsburgh communities. Next, the Otto A. Davis Award is presented in honor of our second dean, who worked to foster racial equality through public policy and created the core values that still guide Heinz College today. This year's recipient is Saleha Khan. Saleha is a graduate of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management program. 
Of her significant contributions, one that stands out is her leadership of the Heinz College Council for Diversity, Richness, and Inclusion. She created critical structure within the organization and magnified the institution's reach with both large and small-scale events. Saleha fostered important conversations to share knowledge and expand how students can make an impact. She is genuinely interested in the experiences of her fellow students and easily connects with them, making her a strong confidant and advocate. This summer, Saleha and her husband will be moving to Kansas City, Kansas, where she plans to continue advocating for racial, economic, and social justice. Saleha, thank you for your service and your example. Next, we have three students who will receive our Student Leadership Awards, presented to students who are recognized for excellent academic achievement, outstanding communication skills, and exceptional promise for future success. This year's recipients are Bonnie Fan, Sarah Johnson, and Pujita Prasad. Bonnie Fan is graduating from the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management Data Analytics program. Bonnie is a connector at her core. In addition to her pivotal role in leading numerous student organizations, such as Dystopic Tech Watch, CMU Against ICE, Transportation Club, and Tech for Society, Bonnie made a point of bringing people together. If you saw her in the hallway, chances are she would introduce you to three other students. She approaches these relationships with authenticity, warmth, and intentionality. Having a student like Bonnie Fan in our community makes others all the more willing to step outside their own circle of thinking and make contributions in their own ways. This fall, she will be joining the Tech Solidarity Lab in CMU's Human Computer Interaction Institute and working on a counter surveillance nonprofit. Congratulations, Bonnie. Sarah Johnson is graduating from the Master of Arts Management program. Sarah has shown leadership through her official roles with Future Tenant, the Internship Opportunity Fund, the Heinz Ambassador Program, and the CMU Development Office, as well as informally by mentoring fellow students and always providing a helping hand. She is often tapped to represent her program and the college on various panels and events, and she has always done so with professionalism and charisma. Congratulations, Sarah. Pujita Prasad is a graduate of the Master of Information Systems Management program. Pujita is a leader, mentor, and friend to many students in Heinz College. From her many teaching assistant positions to her commitment to helping others with academic questions or personal concerns in the collaboration space, she was always a trusted resource and pillar of support to her fellow students. Congratulations, Pujita. Our next award is named in memory of Suresh Kanda an alumnus of our Master of Science in Public Policy and Management and PhD programs. This year, the PhD committee has awarded the Suresh Kanda Memorial First Research Paper Award to Shoshen Sung for her paper, Unintended Consequences, Measuring the Impact of FOSTA-SESTA on Violence Against Women. Please join me in congratulating Shoshen. Each year, we honor Bill Cooper Tepper School faculty member and founding dean of Heinz College by awarding the William W. Cooper Doctoral Dissertation Award. It is awarded to a dissertation that deals with issues and problems in management or management science and has a strong applications orientation with accompanying theoretical or methodological developments. This year's recipient is Mi Zhao for her paper, Essays on Consumer Behavior in Technology-Enabled Markets. Congratulations, Mi. Our last student award is the Outstanding Teaching Assistant Award, presented annually to a teaching assistant in recognition of outstanding performance. This year's recipient is Nathaniel Bregg, a PhD student in public policy and management. Nate is a gifted teacher who stands out amongst a number of very talented TAs at Heinz. His demeanor makes him exceptionally approachable, and he makes it clear in his interactions with students that he truly enjoys teaching and enriching others. Congratulations, Nate, and thank you for your service to our students. At this time, it's my great pleasure to introduce the winner of the Matsya Wade Teaching Award. This award is given each year to a member of our faculty to recognize outstanding performance in the classroom and commitment to student learning. I'm happy to present this year's Matsya Way Teaching Award to Brian Kovac. Brian is an associate professor of economics and public policy here at Heinz College and teaches essential courses 
by critical analysis of policy research and microeconomics. While he's a dedicated and student-centered educator, his innovative and expert research focusing on labor markets and immigration is exciting for our students. He's an effective advisor who's exceptionally welcoming and truly gets to know students all the while producing world-class research. One of his nominees stated, my friends and I are very appreciative of his devotion to student success. I echo that sentiment and I thank you, Brian, for doing all that you do for Heinz College. Congratulations. We have a tradition that the winner of the Marcia Wade Teaching Award imparts some words of wisdom and inspiration to the graduates. And just because we're doing this virtually doesn't mean we let Brian off the hook. Thanks, Krishnan. Heinz College graduates, families, friends, honored guests, and colleagues. It's truly a privilege to participate in the celebration of our graduates' many accomplishments during their time at the Heinz College. Let's be honest, Heinz programs are not easy. Our faculty and staff have high expectations for our students, and through problem sets, papers, exams, and group projects, early mornings and late nights, struggles and successes, you have met those high expectations. I hope that when possible, each of you will take plenty of time to celebrate this significant achievement. I have the honor of speaking to you today because some generous students chose to submit nominations for the Marcia Wade Teaching Award. I am extremely grateful that I was included in some of those nominations. As I considered this nomination process, it struck me that some of you took time out of your busy schedules to show appreciation for your teachers even during this stressful and uncertain time. This small act of selflessness is a testament to your character, which I've seen revealed every time I set foot in a Heinz classroom. Teaching at Heinz has given me the opportunity to interact with some of the most dedicated, kind, and thoughtful people that I have had the privilege of knowing. You are here because at some point in the past, you decided you wanted to make a difference in the world. I think this general goal occurs to nearly everyone at one point or another, but you decided to act upon it. You came to Heinz, worked hard, and gained the skills that you will need to make your goals a reality. What so impresses me about Heinz College students is that you pair your commitment to your ideals with the willingness to do the hard, often unglamorous work required to actually make a difference. You focus on problems that matter and are committed to finding solutions using creativity and analytical rigor. Just last week, I saw this exemplified in an email I received from a former student whose focus is on evaluating the effectiveness of educational policies. She recalled an offhand remark I had made in class about a statistical concept known as mediation analysis. The student was concerned that my statement seemed to contradict something she had recently learned in another Heinz College course. Through a few emails, we resolved the apparent contradiction, and the student left with a deeper understanding of how and when mediation analysis is useful. This exchange had no bearing on the student's grades, would not appear on her CV, and would be very unlikely to come up in any job interview. She simply wanted to understand the tool as deeply as possible so she could better use it to serve students in our education system. This is the hallmark of a Heinz student, seeking to understand the world around us using data, rigorous analytics, and creativity to formulate solutions, and going the last mile to see those solutions implemented. As we face so many challenges as individuals, organizations, and governments, this approach is as important as ever. Which brings me to the present crisis. I know that quarantines, economic shutdowns, and changes in immigration policy have disrupted career plans for many of you, and I'm truly sorry that you're facing these challenges. Yet you are uniquely prepared to forge a path ahead, both during the present crisis and after its hopefully speedy resolution. You will create new organizations, formulate new policies, and promote new ideas to resolve the many existing inequities that have been highlighted and exacerbated by the present crisis. You will utilize information technology and societal scale data to aid in public health responses. You will find innovative solutions to address privacy concerns with contact tracing. You will find novel ways to deliver arts, culture, and entertainment to new and existing audiences in a world of social distancing. You will manage changes in healthcare delivery, medical supply chains, and large-scale prevention efforts. And you will find solutions to a myriad of other problems that we haven't yet anticipated because you have the drive, the empathy, and the care to implement effective change. This will be difficult to be sure and will require creativity, perseverance, and innovative thinking. But by being here today, you have already revealed that you possess those traits. I'm confident that you will face these challenges and others and that we will all be better for it. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. To the class of 2020, congratulations. You will forever be part of our community and we hope you'll stay connected with us. This is a very challenging time. Many complicated decisions lie on the horizon and uncertainty abounds. 
We understand that deeply. And I want you to know that we, all of us at Heinz College, are here for you. However, I know that you will draw confidence from the training you've received at Heinz College and find strength in a sharpened ability to solve difficult problems. The current crisis has exacerbated long-standing vulnerabilities while exposing new risks. Problem solvers like you have the opportunity to make an enormous difference in society by understanding how to leverage technology and data and embracing interdisciplinary inquiry and seeking human-centered innovation. The problems we face will not be solved by a siloed thinking or traditional means. They'll be solved with resiliency and ingenuity. They'll be solved by people like you. Take care of one another. We believe in you, we're proud of you, and wish you the very best. Mm -hmm.